Is it time to eat the pie yet? <laughs> Welcome back to Off Our Needles, season four, Hi, episode Nanners. one. This is so fun, right? We are so excited to be back. I cannot wait to get into all the nitty gritty on yeah. season four and Off Our Needles. We have so much planned for season four. We can't wait for you guys to see. We yeah. do. And today we're starting with a really fun day. Yeah. Pi Day. So Pi Day is March 14th. Yeah. But not only is it Pi Day, you guys, for us, we have my daughter Madison's birthday. Mm -hmm. We have our brother Jamie. And Jamie's wife, Jane. It's true. So there's a ton of pie at our house right? on this day. Yes. So it's crazy. We are super excited to be back. We are so excited to talk about Pie Day and what it has to do with knitting. We do, because yeah. it's a thing. Pie and yes. knitting and yarn is a big deal. Who knew? <laughs> So Pi Day is celebrated on March 14th, which is 314. Yes. Because 3.14 are the first three digits of the number Pi. It is. Yeah. And I mean, you can find out about all of that stuff at piday.org if that's your thing. Yeah. Right? Because there's lots of math and knitting. And who knew? This is a big thing with knitting. And Pi Day is big. It's all around the world, it right? It is. And so Pi is the symbol used in math to represent a constant. It's the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Mind blown. I right? know, right? Which is approximately 3.14159, and it can go on and on and on. It right? is an infinite number that doesn't stop. It is, but it actually has some very cool things to do with knitting. What does it have to do with knitting, Tracy? Well, <laughs> we have an example here of a pie shawl. It's called the Event Horizon Shawl by Donna Druckness. And this is a full pie, which means you start knitting it in the center and you create a circle. This shawl is actually available in an ebook called Stories and Stitches 2, and you can find that on Ravelry if you want to give it a check. But it's incredible. It really is a stunning shawl. It's a full, complete circle. Yes. How is this different than like a circular shawl? That's such a good question. Because a circular shawl is also round. It is. And so the yeah. thing that makes it a pie shawl is your rate of increase. And like we said earlier, it's the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of the circle. And when we do our increase rounds on a pie shawl, you basically double your stitches every okay. time you do those increases. So it's not a really, like you're not increasing every second round lots of times with lots of shawls. This is a, it's spaced throughout and you're doubling your stitches every time you do it. So I think of wow. pie shawls as almost an adventure because there's a really cool cast on in the middle and you yeah. can do that either magic loop or your double pointed needles. You start on a very small circumference, and right? Just a few stitches. Teeny weeny. Teeny weeny. And then you're increasing with these yarn overs each? Okay. Yes, and every time you do that, you're sort of doubling your circumference with your increases. Right. And so a regular circular shawl, the increases are more regular. They're not sort of, they're more spaced evenly, I wanna say. But you can still knit a circular shawl and it's not exactly a pie shawl. But these are very special, I think. They are special. And actually looking at this one and the beautiful lace work, yeah. I'm very tempted. I do, I feel like they're totally an adventure. And really, yeah. I think when we think pie shawls, we think of the great knitting designer, Elizabeth Zimmerman, because there were already circular shawls, but she yeah. applied the geometry to knitting and created these pie shawl patterns. She's so, so smart. Brilliant, yeah. right? So the, I, when I think of pie shawls, I often think of Elizabeth Zimmerman as being the pioneer for that sort of thing. The math idea is the diameter of the circle doubles as well as the circumference when you do your increases. And that wow. simple relationship allows you to limit your increase round so you can stay in your lace pattern and then do a big increase round and then okay. continue. So it really is nice that way for the lace. And I often think too, you need a million stitch markers with these guys. I would separate my lace You'd have to. pattern. Yeah, it would make it just to. easier for me personally how to knit it. It keeps everything on track when you know it where does. you are, right? It does. And so when you're doing your increases spaced correctly, you end up with a perfect circle that will lay flat. Yes. So it won't be a puckery weird thing at the end. It's yeah. this gorgeous, gorgeous circle. And so the designer, Donna Druckness, has sent us some images of her pie shawl designs, yes. which use this mathematical principle. Wow, 
That's a lot of ideas for pie shawls. It totally is. It's serious eye candy. Yeah. I think pie shawls are stunning. I yeah. would love to knit one. I still haven't done it, but I would like to for sure. You can also learn about pie shawls and shawl construction, plus tons of other shawl shapes. Yes. It's a class by Laura Nelkin, and it's called Knit Shawls 14 Ways, and you're gonna find the link to that class in the description box below. So they're incredible, they're but they beautiful. are a little big for some folks, and you know, sometimes people knit them as a blanket because they're that stunning and well, beautiful. Well, I was actually thinking, I folded this in half, mm -hmm. and it's a light worsted, and I even thought that was bulky for me, but I also thought, why not have this as a little bit of a lap blanket? You could absolutely yeah. do that. You can knit it in a finer yarn, like a lace weight, and then it isn't as bulky right. around your neck. But let me show you a half pie shawl. Oh, well, Tracy, I have it right here. Jody, look at that. If you're not quite feeling as adventurous as a full pie, mm -hmm. what about a half pie? Absolutely. And they're beautiful to knit to, and they do use the same mathematical principles yeah. for the increases, but you do end up starting your half pie shawl right in the center here, similar to other shawl constructions. Yeah. But then you're, you're gonna see your increases where you're also doubling your circumference and diameter at the same time. So this is a really beautiful kit that you can get right here on Craftsy and the link is in the description box below. It's the hemisphere um, shawl. And it's really easy to wear and super fun to knit and I absolutely recommend getting into that high spirit and giving it a try. Okay, for me, I think the half pie is the way to go for me. I have knit a half pie shawl and it was really, really fun to knit, yeah. as well as very easy to wear. I feel yeah. like it stays on really well, and it's gorgeous and super fun. So this one is lovely, and it's sport weight, which is a really nice way to yarn to work with, I think. I love it. Yeah. So that's our pie day. That's how we think our pie day is gonna be. It's always gonna be knitty and yarny. It's birthday, it's yarny, and it's dessert all in one day for us. So yeah. we absolutely love that. Thank you so much for joining us today on Pie Day, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. And it's time for us to have a little piece of pie. So we'll see you next time on Off Our Needles. Bye.